I want to do a series on 1 John right near the end of the New Testament called The Freedom of Following. The Freedom of Following. And, you know, freedom's a big word right now. And, and you know, you get all these people that think, well, you know, I don't want to be a Christian because it's so restrictive. There's so many rules. Um, and yet the only real freedom that comes is the freedom that comes from following Jesus. And then, you know, a lot of people in, in our world the last year especially have put a lot of hope in in our governments. And, you know, if, if we can only get this changed or that changed, we'll have freedom. But, but John's talking about real freedom. And it's a freedom that comes from following, following Christ. When John wrote this book, he's an old man. And what you're getting in 1 John is six decades of reflection on three years with Jesus, which is really cool when you think about it. He had three years with Jesus, and now he's got six decades to process this. And what he's going to tell us there is what it really looks like to follow Jesus. You know, John lived in very confusing times spiritually. There were spiritually confusing times. There was deceivers. There were people who were trying to take Christians this way and that way. And so John wrote to correct a lot of that. And I, I thought about that. I thought, you know, we live in spiritually confusing times too. Many believe that it doesn't matter what you believe about God as long as you're sincere. And it doesn't matter how you live as long as you love. And the two hardest things in life to get straight are God and love. To relate to God well, you have to know how to love right. And to love right, you have to know how to relate to God well. And so John's going to play with those themes of God and love. Why are we doing this series? Well, I guess one is, is you know, as I said, the title. There's just real freedom that comes from following Christ. And, and I feel like we spend a lot of time on the front end of our vision here at Crossroads, which is we want to give everybody in Central Alberta an opportunity to know Christ. But once people get to know Christ, what then? How do we live this thing? And so part of our vision is, and by following him together, you know, Pat, the world. And so this is about the following together bit, this series. And it's really about what it looks like in real time to follow Jesus. Right living in a wrong world, that kind of a thought. Interestingly, John talks a lot about certainty. And the key verse in 1 John is 1 John 5, 13. And it's why he wrote the book. It's, it's so that we might know God and know how to live with God and with each other. And there's, a, there's some things that, that we, you know, in the Christian life we go, well, one wonders, you know. There's other things where we say, you know, we just, we don't know. We're going to keep talking about that. But John's not talking about that so much as about the things we can be certain about. And that is what it means to know God and what it means to walk in his ways and what it means to live with his people. Those are the those are the certainties that John will want to talk about. So if we can grasp what he's saying, it'll take us to maturity um, probably quicker than most other books in the New Testament.